Hey you guys, how you doing today? I am going to take down my braids today and um, reconnect with my baby fro that's under here. Um, but to do that, I'm going to make some flaxseed gel. Uh, everybody keeps asking me about that. It's super easy to make, so I'm gonna show you guys how to do it today. So, first thing we're gonna do is, check this out. We're gonna add enough flax seeds to cover the bottom of my well-used pot here. There we go, just enough to cover the bottom. And then we're gonna pour in, I'm using two cups of water. Now all we have to do at this point is let this boil. We wanna make sure we stir it up so this flax seeds don't stick to the bottom. Once it boils, we're going to strain it. Right now, we'll stir this around a little bit and let it boil. As you can see, it's getting thicker and thicker. We're gonna wait till it gets a little bit thicker and it's gonna kinda of hold on to that fork a little bit as we lift it up. So let, let's let it go for just a couple more minutes. Probably total time for boiling is gonna be 10 to 20 minutes, just depends. All right, now our flaxseed gel is done. Um, you see it's kinda of getting that gel-like stuff on the top. I got a spoon now, but and it kinda of gets a little jelly there. All right, so what we're gonna do next is we're gonna go ahead and strain our flaxseed gel into a heat resistant container because it is pretty hot when it comes off. So I have my little strainer here sitting right over there. I'm gonna pour this over so we can get all those seeds out of there and stuff. So we have our flaxseed gel here, yeah, ready to go. And with my flaxseed gel, I always add um, grapeseed oil because um, flaxseed gel, if it doesn't have the grapeseed oil in there, it won't last very long, maybe a couple days if you leave it out. And you can refrigerate it, um, but I would probably say, I don't really measure because I'm a weirdo, but how about Two tablespoons. Then, for a little added moisture, because sometimes this can get a little crunchy in your hair, um, I add my um, Jamaican black castor oil, and I'm gonna put two capfuls of that in there. Of course, when you do DIY products, these are for you. So, I mean, the fun part is just kind of figuring the things out what works and what doesn't work and having fun with it and, and you know just making them for you so we're gonna just stir that up a bit and I do see a little bit of seeds running in there but that'll be okay there we go usually you want to definitely strain it better than I did but so for my flaxseed oil too I'm gonna add a couple different fragrances because I want my hair to be smelling summer fresh so my first one is lemon oil. Then we have the awesome jasmine. And then last but not least, bergamot. So we'll definitely be, um, it'll be sweet and citrusy. So I'm gonna use my little dropper and put about 10 drops in there. 
then with the jasmine we'll put about five because that's a little bit stronger and of course like I said the best part about this is you can still make it the way that you like it so if that scent is not perfect for you you can add more so you want to go less I just put five of bergamot in there I'm gonna stir it up and of course we can make sure that that's our preference of smell there and then we're gonna let this cool off and we're gonna transfer it to our container I'm going to and this is my container right here and yes I wrote on it it's kind of crazy I didn't print anything out but here it is and then of course um, since I'm taking my braids out today coconut milk shampoo I made for myself and we'll do that on another video but we'll let this cool off we'll transfer it to our container and then it'll be ready to use some quick info while our um, gel is cooling off Jamaican black castor oil is great for growing hair you can use it on your hair um, your skin um, your eyelashes your eyebrows beards and nails and it definitely helps um, with hair growth so it's awesome our other product that we're putting in there is going to be our grapeseed oil and that actually is a natural preservative but it's all natural um, and so it helps your product to kind of live a little bit longer before it starts going bad because as natural products do they can go bad and of course lemon jasmine those are all really calming and sweet and sensual smells so that will definitely just help out with great moods so we're gonna let this cool off and then we'll see what the finished product does so I'm out of the shower with my coconut milk shampoo I have started putting my flaxseed gel in my hair and just kind of working it through and to kind of get my natural curl pattern. I did comb it through, kind of got out everything, especially since I had the braids in for a while. So we're working everything through. Defining these curls is really what the Plexi Gel is good at. Plus we put the Jamaican black castor oil in there, which means that it's really gonna get down to the scalp and start nourishing that stuff as well, because good hair grows from the scalp. And if you nourish your scalp well, then you'll have great hair. So right now I'm just kind of working it in there. baby girl situated so here we go so that's pretty much it if you guys have any comments or anything like that any questions just let me know and we will figure it out together black seed hair gel bye y'all